name is Jennifer and welcome to part 20 of the Asylum Challenge and if you're returning welcome back and as you can see Emily seems very very happy. I'm not quite sure why she is because we've had a death. The Grim Reaper is here. I went to go, I was playing through the night to get up in the morning and I all of a sudden got a notification that the Grim Reaper someone was dying and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop my game so I will play here the scene of what happened so that you can see who we have lost. So I don't know why Emily's happy about it. She's the only one who isn't sad from what I can tell. So Kenny's dying of embarrassment. I'm trying to get here so that we can try and plead. I hope we're allowed to. I don't actually know the rules. Plead for Kenny. Get over there and plead for Kenny. Lead. Oh, it doesn't look like it worked. So I guess I have to do my after <laughs> part of my challenge, which is to uh, learn and make um, Ambrosia so that we can bring Kenny back and anyone else who maybe happens to die. So our, our, our Casanova is gone. For now. He was doing so well. I don't know why he died of embarrassment. He peed himself. Oh, and he was embarrassed from being caught earlier in the day. Aww. Everybody's sad. And I guess we're gonna now have a ghost coming around and breaking things. Oh well. She needs to work on her aspirations so that we can get through it. Oh look. They're all really sad. All except Emily. So as you can tell from that clip we lost Kenny. So that means our second part of my challenge is going to be in uh, a thing now. We're going to have to have Emily learn and make ambrosia. She is halfway there because she's maxed both the cooking and the gourmet cooking skill which she needed to do but we'll need the death flower and the angel fish to be able to make it and also the points. She's gonna have to work on her points to make sure she has enough points to be able to make it which she does right now but we have to keep them in reserve. I think the potion is 1500 if I remember correctly but I haven't used it got it for quite a while. So I don't really know. Yes, it's 1500. So we need to keep enough points back for her to buy a potion of youth for Kenny. So his grave stone is out there and I had, I know I had said in the last part that I was going to ask whether you wanted to see the, the refurbishment of the place off or on camera. I will still ask, but I'm going to go in to do the build mode now and do it and if you want to see it I will probably put it on as a separate video at the end of this so if you want to see it first stop here go forward I'll put a link above if I end up putting it off if that was what the vote was <laughs> and um, then come back and start here so we're back and she is making something she I think started this on her own so I'm not sure what she's making she was hungry of course, oh, I see Brian isn't sad. Oh, but he is. <laughs> He's mourning. I don't know why she's not mourning. I don't know. She witnessed the death, as you saw. Oh, it looks like, oh, don't, don't burn our new stove. <laughs> Please, you're sad. Oh, they're comforting each other. That's nice. And she made one BLT. Okay. So I did, if you noticed, while I was doing the, um... The renovation. I did remove a bed. So we have an empty room there. We have four beds. I was debating about getting rid of one of these couches. It just, I kept, sorry, the love seats. But because we had the TV in here, I kept them there. Um, and so now we're down to one stool here. But that was primarily because of the TV that I really, oh, looks like there's some negativity going on. I wonder if we made it this far. Now everybody's gonna, we're gonna have some negative oh she was lucky <laughs> i have to say emily you eat your food and then why don't you listen to some music i gave them a nice stare they got music everywhere 
So they've got, this is one of the better um, stereos for listening to music. I put that there. And then they have uh, some in other places and you'll see that I've changed out. If you watched it, you'll have seen that I have, oh, we got another dead flower. And then we became friends with the Grim Reaper. So we're going to water together because <laughs> we need that watering to be done before we lose any more plants. I don't think they had evolved at least. We'll just have to go harvest and replant them. I have to, that'll be one more thing for Emily to do because we have to get her, her skill up, of course. And I did, if you watched, you'll see I combined this. So I think having the walls should be enough to keep it like that. No one's, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of romance going on, but I think that's what, that was one of the things that contributed <laughs> to the death in this case because he, because Kenny had been uh, caught cheating in the last part and he was, oh, we have some romance. That doesn't look like that. Doesn't look like she liked that very much because I saw something that looked like a pink and or someone, whoever did it, the other one didn't like it. Okay, you need to go look out of these plants. Sorry, go water together. I know you need your fun. So that they now have their kitchen area is separate. They have one more closet in their entrance way, which has a big division between the living room and the kitchen. And then here's their living area. I kept a lot of the stuff and as you can see, they have a lot less of money right now. Oh, she's embarrassed. Awkward encounter, where can I hide? So we have them all hopefully helping her water. And this was a snapdragon, so we will dispose of it. But luckily we actually do have some other snapdragons. And of course I had sold everything, or pretty much everything, before <laughs> I started. Oh, I should have put some more plants or something over here. I'll do that off camera. I missed that. My bad. I just put, you know, maybe one of these, uh, the, the blue flowers there. And I'll have to fix up some of this brown. They're not com completely out of the, the, uh, um, their place isn't completely made over. Once she finishes her aspiration and earns more money, then she will have her own little space. I might just keep her in here, but her own little space with her own little bathroom. Maybe I'll make it down here for her to have uh, when she finishes her aspirations and it'll be locked and she'll be the only one to be able to get into it. So she'll have her own bathroom and the rest will have to share while she's working on improving the asylum for everybody else. But that will have to take till wait. So how are her needs? I need her to do some more paintings and she probably needs to make some more food. We're going to cook some food. Probably will work on getting everything else done once the um, the goal to try and get the angelfish and whatnot. We'll try and worry about that when she's finished her aspiration. We'll do a little bit as we can as it goes, but primarily I think we're going to concentrate on having her. Can you listen to this while you're doing that to try and get your fun up? Because this has, like, I think a fun of eight or something like that. Does it seem to be making much difference? So they don't have dead flowers. I tried to remove all or whatever I could see of the spider webs and the, the water spots and the cracks and all that stuff while I was building. I may have missed some. But they do, they have a slightly nicer looking space, even though from the outside. Okay, so we're going to put that away. I'll just do it for her. And you know what, since she's, I'm going to have her do a flirty painting because I'd like some flirty paintings. Turn off, go do some flirty painting. Do one so we have one for all the rooms because right now we only have one and since it's now divided up, <laughs> we need to put a few more out there and hopefully it'll turn out excellent because that's what she needs to do. Now I am thinking of getting rid of this, even though they use it a lot, and replacing it with a logic table or something for something else for doing logic as opposed to always having Oh they're so sad, I feel so bad. All I can do is try and get through our aspirations so that we can bring Kenny back. 
And hopefully you guys, no one else dies in the meantime. <laughs> They're all like everywhere because now I've got stereos in different spots for them to use. <laughs> I've got a couple of got the big great rooms separated. Oh, why are you not going to the bathroom? Go if you have to go to the bathroom. We don't need you dying too. Yay, it was excellent. So that helped her get one more excellent and she's gonna go repair that. I wanna put this in here. Do I have a spot for it? Maybe I don't. Maybe I need to um check here. Yeah, I think I am going to need to move this. For now, I'll just put it over the closet. That's what I'll do. And I'll frame it. And enable the emotional aura. And this is a confident painting, which I'll just stick here. I'm not going to enable it, but I'll just have it. So they're balanced. We'll frame it too. So there are the two, but this one will be enabled and this one won't. And I think she needs to have a nap. If there's a bed available for her. Sleep. There we go. And there's probably garbage. There is. In our lovely place. Oh, and go sleep here. Go and sleep over there. And I put this over here so that it's not in our nice area. And she'll have to repair this. And still the never-ending broken things. Oh, he wasn't even sleeping. He was just going to cry. I don't... She seems a bit cold-hearted. She was there and I tried to get her to plead for his life. And then all of a sudden she wasn't sad. It was like she didn't witness the death because she pleaded for his life. It was a bit strange. So, we're way down in our money. Let me check these frogs and breed them. I might have to get them doing some more fishing to build up our money again. I can't imagine anyone's going to be romantic anytime soon. They're all... Oh, Dawn and Clyde have to go to work. They're energized. From what? Energizing decor? Oh, someone must have... All I can think is it's the clay. Because I don't know that I put anything in here that would make it energizing. Oh, we don't need that to be energized. That has a... I think it's the sink she got from work and it has a inspiring moodlet. Everybody's filthy. Okay, you're going to come and repair this. Sorry, sweetie, you're gonna wake up. And then you gotta scavenge for parts. Yes, we got our promotion. And scavenge for parts. Oh, look, Brian's cleaning up the sink. I kinda don't know what to do. I think for now, I'm gonna just add the fishing back in just because I don't think anyone's romantic enough to do anything because they're all sad. So they may as well do something. <laughs> useful and go fish is anyone going to use that shower because she could use it yeah they'll be more productive they're all just running in and going and crying all the time anyone coming to use the shower? Take a thoughtful shower. Go take a thoughtful shower and hopefully no one walks in on you. I'm somewhat thinking of moving that sink back out so that they have a little bit more room in this space just for the shower and the... I only moved it because it was breaking down all the time and then they would get... Um, it would be uncomfortable in this area, but now that I've at least split it into the three spots, it probably doesn't have quite the impact. So I think I'll do that right now. There. Now that's been done. I'll 
if I make this slightly more spacious or whatnot, I'll do that a little later. Off camera, probably. So they're fishing, hopefully that helps them. Because all they were doing was crying and crying and crying. I'm going to put that in her inventory. So she has a few things to sell. So she's inspired. She doesn't like that it's dirty in here, but that's fine. We're going to come out here and we're going to do a small abstract painting. Oh, I was going to do a little garden here for him. Like something for some little flowers and stuff. We'll earn a bit of money and try that after. So she needs to max her painting. She needs to do five more excellent and then she needs five masterpieces. And I am hoping that the fact that she's a perfectionist will help her get her masterpieces. You know, it'll offset the fact, oh, we got a paper bag. Everyone's trying to make a deal in the park, in this park. So that paper bag stashed behind the trash bin. Well, it's probably not full of sandwiches. It could be a setup though. You can either swipe the bag or leave it alone. We'll swipe it and see what happens. I'm not sure. Didn't see. Oh, a dog walker has left Clyde holding the bag. That's unfortunate. And what is his? Is he just, he's filthy <laughs> and he's uncomfortable for eight hours from the poo. <laughs> oh, poor Brian is creative and they don't, well, I'm using it anyways, but they don't find they tend to do creative things very much on their own unless you direct until they got the painting skill then they do it so I suppose what I could do is take them to the park take them to the city and do a mural together and then some of them will get the painting skill but to be honest I don't really want them painting right now she needs the easel because that's her uh, her only thing she's really working on other than how I'm trying to keep the garden looked after looked after and work on her gardening a skill while she's at it. There she goes. She has another hopefully excellent. Yep, 1572. So abstract, small. That took her a long time. You know, play a game of horseshoes. Oh, she's mastered the painting skill. So she's done that aspect. We haven't got through this tier yet. And unfortunately, it's not very exciting. So it's not really very exciting right now because everybody's kind of sad. So for Brian, isn't sad anymore. He has to pee. Oh, go to the bathroom. <sighs> and okay, go to the bathroom. We don't need anyone else having a bladder accident. Don't want to lose any more Sims. Adeline, she's crying it out and she's tired. Is she crying it out? No, she's sleeping. But she's so sad that you can still see it, even though she's asleep. Well, she's sad. It's funny how you can see that. She, I can't tell that she's sleeping because normally the sleeping overpowers it. Now it's overpowering it. Arya is asleep. She's sad. A friend has passed. And from witnessing a death. So it's from both. But see, Kenny was her friend too. I just don't understand why she's not sad. I really, really don't. I think it's a bit of, I think that's a glitch. That's all I can think. But really, that's what we're doing. We're painting and everybody's sad from Kenny dying in this part. And she's really tired and I don't know whether she's going to get a bed. It doesn't, there's a bed here. So if she gets into it, then that's good. Does, has she stocked the fridge? So we have our... <laughs> So while not much is happening in some ways, we had a lot happen because we had Kenny die. We had a makeover of our, our place and um, we lost a bed in a chair because of Kenny dying. And she has made a little bit of progress on her. That was excellent, 1557. So she really needs to have a street sale. But there's really no, they have enough money, so it's not a rush. She can always have the street sale at any time. I keep thinking there is a, there she goes. So I bred the frog. She's sleeping. Unless something happens, we will be back in the morning. Before we, I leave, 
or I've come back, I realized I haven't cleared out their inventory, so I'm going to take this all, and I am going to, I forgot totally to end the gathering, so I will do that. That was not intentional. So I'm going to clear out, show you what they have, and I'll switch that into her inventory while the night plays through. Oh, Clyde, you should be going to the bathroom. It's morning. And I uh, did fix up the landscaping a little bit and I have Emily making some food because no one was in front of the fridge and of course the room is, the aura in here is flirty because this is where I put the first, I, I think this is where I had the, uh, like they're all like not going to the bathroom. And I did... I think this is where I put the emotional painting for the flirty, the flirty emotional painting. And then the new one that I just had her do yesterday is in the other location. She is hungry, as you may or may not be able to tell. I'm just breeding the frogs. And she has 11 plasma packs. I'm going to put them in here. So I think while everybody's mourning, we will let them do their fishing and also help to recover some of our funds <laughs> that we have. Plus, they weren't really doing much of uh, much flirting to be honest with them all being so sad so they may as well do something productive they were just sitting around and moping understandably so and the other thing i did let me put that in the garbage and i'll go over here and that's just them doing that because the club is not going as i put a little spot over here for kenny's gravestone so i put some little flowers around and then i put a vase in front of it and then some flowers under the tree so that was what i did and that's the tree that i had put when i did the build i put this lantern tree which comes from movie stuff i thought it was nice so i think they're in a much nicer space unfortunately kenny didn't get to survive it and kenny didn't come out last night i would have i would have shown you that he stayed in there, so hopefully he will come out, because obviously we need Kenny. We need to make friends with Kenny and ask him to live in, move in once we have finished our aspiration to be able to have him become a, um, to eat the ambrosia. We need to be able to control him. I don't know, I keep talking about it, because I feel so bad. And uh, we'll just leave that food out. Oh, actually, her food doesn't spoil. We don't ever have to put our food away because <laughs> her food doesn't spoil. <laughs> that might mean they won't go eat in front of the fridge all the time because the food can just be left out because that's the trait you get for completing the master chef aspiration is that it's fresh chef, I think. Let me look. Let me see. Yeah, fresh chef that uh, they make the highest quality food and it never spoils. So that is her, her what she completed. Oh, did she? No, I had her do that. Right. I had her do that painting because I'm trying to put flirty paintings in all three of the main living, living spaces. So the kitchen, the entranceway, which it does have the closets there. So I put it there. And also I'm going to put one in here. I could always add another closet, I suppose. I could stick one here so it's on this side of the living room and move the bookshelf elsewhere. Yeah, we'll see. But no rush. We have two and nobody's needing any closets right now anyways. <laughs> <laughs> They're all too sad. Oh, she's cleaning up. And I did move. I can't remember if I did that before or after the night, but I moved the uh, sink over here. So if I'm forgetting myself, if I'm repeating myself, sorry. So she's back to doing painting. I don't think, I don't, because she's such a slow painter, I don't know that we'll be able to get these uh, 10 excellent paintings completed, but she'll be on her way at least, I guess. What is, she, is she talking to herself or talking to something? And poor Brian sleeping on the couch. I just, I just really hope that we don't lose anybody else. There we go. She did a masterpiece, of course, and it's worth 5,000, so she's going to need to do another flirty painting because <laughs> I don't know that I want to have a masterpiece hanging around worth that much. I think I, I'll frame it for now and I'll enable it for now, but I think our goal will more be to um, to do another one <laughs> so she can sell it. <laughs> I guess that's worth a lot. We're going to do another small abstract painting. I did try. I missed that spot. It was night when I was doing it, so there's a little bit of brown there, but I did actually try and go around and clean up some of this excess uh, brown that was supposed to be underneath 
the plants that were there from before. So it's a much more pleasant area. So, but she doesn't actually have. None of this makes her feel like it's decorated. The plants don't make her feel decorated. Hmm, that's interesting. And while she's getting a nice mood lap from the soothing chimes, but she has actually mastered her, I think about it, she has mastered her painting skill. So she will see whether or not she has more masterpieces. You would think she would have quite a few given she's a perfectionist. And um, I have the home studio lot trait. So what's this? That was excellent, good. And she's a bit hungry, yeah, you can go eat. You've done some, some good work there, my dear. So that's, I think, going to be it for this part. We had Emily didn't complete any aspirations, nor would I expect her to, because she only has the one left to complete, and she does have a bit to go, but she has made some progress. She only needs one more excellent painting, and then, of course, she will need to do five more, excellent, five more masterpieces once she gets to the next tier. But she got one of those in the last part, and everybody's sad, except for Brian. He didn't seem to, um, oh, we never started that act, the gathering. Never started that gathering. So, huh. It's everybody's morning. Not really much to say about that. And I'm on the wrong sim. I'm trying to go to Emily. Emily uh, would go to work tomorrow. And I think for now, I'm going to just have her take a vacation day unless there are any objections because she has four vacation days so she could take her vacation days oh why don't you go watch tv if you're not having fun well, the club gathering wasn't going for the longest time and you could have watched tv and now you could go fish maybe can you go fish yeah you probably can do something fun there uh aria oh, they're all so sad <laughs> Well, they're not all sad. Four of them are sad. Oh, no, Dawn's not sad anymore. Either is Clyde. That's kind of funny. Arya is sad. Lexi is sad. And Adeline is sad. Twelve more hours. Seven, the different lengths of time. Isn't that funny that they're not, maybe they did stuff to make it calm, made it, um, they cried in the closet and the bed and stuff, and maybe that helped make it go away quicker for some of them than others. I'm thinking that must have been what it was, because I, there's no other reason for them not to be sad anymore <laughs> other than, than that. So, um, I guess that's it for this part. We had our death, we did a renovation, and everybody's trying to get over Kenny. So, on that note, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye! If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much.